Uh, my name is Matt Harris. I'm a senior archaeologist with the URS Corporation, and we're conducting a phase two archaeological excavation uh, here at the Bartram's Garden. Um, the site name is called 36PH14, and that's uh, designated with the uh, state of Pennsylvania. Uh, we're conducting this archaeological dig in, uh, in advance of reconstructing this wetland that you kind of see here to my left. Uh, we'll be expanding that and uh, coming into this area here. Uh, in this area here, the whole grassy area is known to be an archaeology site that was found in 1996 by the curator at Bartram's Joel Fry. Um, he had done some limited testing here to find that there was indeed a Native American as well as historic period archaeological site. So, uh, yeah, before this wetland comes in and to help them with the design of it, we're here testing, uh, like I said, at a phase two level, as we call it, to find where the density of archaeological material is and if there are any intact soils, uh, which could hold um, in, what we call in situ archaeology, uh, which is in place and undisturbed. Uh, so we are digging, what you see the folks doing here, these are one by one meter units. Uh, this is a typical way to prospect and, and look for archaeological features as well as material. Uh, we're placing a total of 74 of them across this entire area here. They're on a, a regular grid, uh, so every one of them is either 10 meters or 5 meters apart so that we can control for coordinates and, and, and such as we dig them. Um, we dig with uh, trowels and shovels. Uh, everything gets screened through. screens and then put into bags such as this with the provenience information. Uh, this one here was found in, in an excavation unit 6, so everyone's numbered. Uh, it had coordinates to its corner, it was north 75, east 140, so every artifact can be uh, relocated to, you know, within a centimeter of its, its uh, you know, the original place it was found. Um, and then it's listed by its stratum and level. Um, when we dig these units, we don't just start digging and go down, we actually dig by level, where the, the first level is usually a more modern, uh, you know, the ground surface in modern artifacts, and below that, in this particular case, is a 19th century thin plow zone, which has old historic as well as prehistoric artifacts, and then below that is a level that has most of the prehistoric artifacts. Um, so this particular one here is a prehistoric artifact. It's what archaeologists would call a biface. Uh, most people would know it, you know, as an arrowhead or a spear point or something similar. Uh, we use the term biface because it's worked on one and two faces, um, whereas the material used, you know, demitage taken from this is on one face. Uh, so it's called a biface. Uh, this particular one um, is not necessarily what we call diagnostic. Some points, uh, just like cars, are very stylistic to a particular time period, such as a 57 Chevy is very distinctive and everyone knows what year that comes from. Some bifaces are also very distinctive and you can tell what, you know, what uh, era uh, they were made in. This one is what we call a stem point. It's made out of a stone material called jasper, which is typically from the Lehigh Valley of Pennsylvania, three miles north or so of here. Stylistically, like I said, it's not diagnostic, but it's similar to things that you would find in what uh, archaeologists call a time period of the early woodland, which is um, roughly 2,200 years ago, uh, you know, to, to about 2,000 years ago, depending. Um, so we can, you know, estimate sort of when this thing was from, but uh, we've found other points uh, in, in the past two days that are more diagnostic and we know date to time periods from 1,000 years ago. Uh, to 700 years ago. We've also found Native American ceramics, which uh, you can date pretty well based on their style. And we hope to, in some of the features that we hope are out there, uh, to find um, charcoal, which then we can carbon date to a very precise date. 